Well, hello. I'm going to talk about the Casio F91W because I think this is the best wristwatch in the world. Pound for pound, it cannot be beat. This particular version with the green trim, and the orange, and gold, and white trimmings on there is the F91W3DG. I think this was an Asia only model. I really love this colorway, I think it looks really great. I've got loads of F91s, this is just the ones that are sitting out on my desk at the moment. I absolutely love these watches, I think they're the best, and I'll want to explain why. There are tons of reviews out there of this watch, with most people kind of agreeing that this is a great, cheap watch. And I totally agree, and I've just been compelled to uh, make this little video to explain why I think that. This grey version of the F91W I bought in 2010 from Amazon. It's now uh, 2023. So this watch is 13 years old. It's still got the original strap on there. It's had two battery changes now, one just a few weeks ago. This watch was my daily wearer for many, many years, up until about 2020, when I took it off and put it away because I didn't want it to break. You can't get them anymore, or very hard to get them now. So, But this watch was my daily wearer. It's been all over the world, travels, adventures, holidays, and it is still going strong. Don't know if you can see the, the little damage on there, but it's got a ton of scuffs and scratches. The strap is quite literally right on its last legs. That's gonna go any moment, this strap. Again, over the years, I've used, oh, I've got loads and loads of watches. I love watches. Um, I've got loads. I've had all sorts and I've got all sorts still. But when I strap one of these back on, it just feels like home, it feels right. I am done with G-Shocks, honestly, and things like that. I've got a few G-Shocks. I like G-Shocks as much as the next fella. But honestly, what we got here, it's a 5610U. Um, this is a great watch. Tough, durable, keeps perfect time, so recharging. This is one of the smaller G-Shocks, but when this is on my wrist, it feels kind of big, bulky, and clumsy. When I strap one of these back on, the comfort level is insane. These straps are brilliant, so soft and pliable, so comfortable. The watch is really thin. This will slide under a, a cuff, under gloves. It just doesn't get in the way. Whereas G-Shocks, they do. They're, they're wide, they're big. Let's compare the size here, the, the, the depth. Look at that. If you're in the military or something, or if you're a deep sea diver or something, get a G-Shock. As I've said in another video, I think the G-Shock marketing is has been fantastic and we're all kind of, you yeah, know, this is super tough and durable. Well, yes, it is. But it's kind of over-engineered, if anything. The F91 is also super tough, super durable. I know from personal experience, I used to use these. I was a Tyler for over seven years, day in, day out. The abuse my F91s used to get put through was... Uh, Proper hard labour. Never had one failed. These watches, as of 2023, have gone up in price a bit. It used to be less than a tenner on Amazon UK last year. Now they've just gradually crept up a bit. So you're paying over a tenner, but still only sort of 12, 13 quid for a standard, the blue one, F91W from Amazon. 10.99 at Argos in the UK. Cheap, really cheap. These are super tough. They, they're waterproof, they, they put up with abuse, everything. But if it does break, just chuck it away. Get a new one, doesn't matter. That's part of the fundamental utilitarianism of this watch, it's fantastic. I have become very, very attached to some of them, like this one in particular. I'd be gutted if this got smashed to smithereens because it's been through so much with me. But yeah, a standard F91W. It's almost disposable. Talks about the low profile, thinness, excellence. Not going to get in the way of anything, one of these watches. The lightweight, these weigh next to nothing. You barely feel that on your wrist. Excellent, so comfortable, so unobtrusive. The, the straps on my G Shocks, I just don't find them very comfortable. It's just not comfortable. I'm, I'm kind of waiting to take my G Shocks off. 
at the end of the day and the relief when I take them off is noticeable. Not so with these. You can just keep them on, sleep in them, whatever. Dead comfy. These watches have good and useful functions. The, the, the display here, for me personally, displays everything I need to know at a glance. You've got the time, the seconds, the uh, date, the day of the week. That little bell symbol means the hourly chart chime is on and I'm on 24 hour time. For work, I need to write things down in 24 hour time. I always have them on 24 hour time. You got your alarm. Uh, I tend to use my phone as my alarm clock, but this can be, I use this sometimes as a timer. If I need to time something for 20, 20 minutes, half an hour or whatever, just set your alarm for half an hour in the future. There you go, you've got a countdown timer there, essentially. Stopwatch, again, I use this as a, a timer. So yeah, the uh, display on the F91 is so sharp and clear. It's beautiful. I've never seen another digital watch with a display as sharp and clear as this. It's fantastic. Just a quick chat about accuracy as well. What do Casio say? I think they say these can gain or lose 30 seconds month and this particular one since i've had it which isn't long hasn't gained any or lost any time whatsoever this one is as you can see is just a few seconds fast but they're really accurate really good much better than any mechanical watch i've ever had not as accurate as an apple watch or something not as accurate as a time on your phone but yeah really good accurate timekeeping just wanted to mention the uh, toughness of these as well my work as a tiler these were the F91 I used to have for work we used to be caked in tile adhesive would be exposed to endless shock from hammering uh, drilling and using small jackhammers things like that endless dunking in water never had a problem with any of them just in terms of the waterproofness of these watches I've swum with F91 let's go back to this one I've swum showered with this particular watch hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of times oceans swimming pools showers never been any problems whatsoever my experience of all cheap casios is that um, the ones marked just water resistant 30 meters of water resistance they're all really waterproof i've never had one leak dead good for a cheap surface diving watch swimming showering no problems at all Mechanical watches, automatic watches, yes I've got some. I really like the romance of them and the nostalgia and the way some of them look and everything. Really great, but as a pragmatic person, as a realist and a, and a functionalist, I can't be bothered with all that. My mechanical automatic watches, they'll stop if I'm not wearing them after a day or two. This will just run and run and run, no hassle no bother no problems in my day-to-day -day use that's what i need from a watch reliable tough accurate that's what you get with this watch do i think there are any drawbacks to this watch well not really the uh the led light there always gets a bit of a slate in for being rubbish but yeah it's it's really not as good as on some other casio models some of the Casio models have much better backlights. Nice orange full face illumination on the A700 there. Yeah, lovely. But this, this, it, it does work. If it's dark and you need to tell the time, put the light on and you can tell the time. Great. Works fine. So yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm done with my G-Shocks. I kind of uh, like them but they're overkill they're actual overkill i'm getting rid of all but one. i'll keep this one i'm going to get rid of all the others after wearing a lot of other watches for the last few years i've come to realize that this this is my favorite watch so good there's such a lot of folklore surrounding these as well the, the terrorism links worn by people from Osama bin laden all the way to the other end of the spectrum, I guess. So Obama used to wear one. Yeah, there's kind of a rich folklore around these watches as well, which kind of adds to the charm, I think. Apparently Casio still sells three million or so of these a year. The world's most bought watch. I've really come back to these watches recently and I've come to realize after my uh, time with <laughs> all the other watches that I've got, including an Apple watch, which I just don't wear, 
this is my favorite watch for me this is the best watch in the world it's super cheap dead accurate it's dead durable i found them to be waterproof it's super thin dead light it's the perfect everyday kind of beta watch if you like a chorus of hourly chimes on my casio was beautiful but yeah i just wanted to talk about my love for these watches get one of these these are brilliant charming and practical i think the casio f91 is the perfect daily use watch what do you guys reckon to them any of you use them you think they're ugly i don't know let me know your thoughts on this one and thank you for watching adios